Yo, welcome back to another episode of Turning Him Up. I'm your boy, LP82, along with my co-host, Young Tech, aka Wordplay, where we gather every podcast to talk about what's going on in the world, especially in hip-hop, where we talk about real facts and everybody's truth. You gotta have that confidence to wear a song, you know, you can't lack up. I got too much passion to quit, man, I gotta keep going on. Get locked in. Y'all ready? Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Turn the Hemmed Up. I'm your boy, LP82, along with my co-host. Young Tech, a.k.a. Wordplay. And we have some special guests. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Divine Vision here. You know, here from Philly. Yes, sir. Something like. Yes. And this is Rex Av, a.k.a. Deshaun, a.k.a. d Rav from Miami, Florida. You feel me? <laughs> so, uh, for, the, for those that don't know, these are my brothers. Yeah. What's good? What's gang, good gang. Y'all? What's the deal? Happy to be here with y'all, man. Long time coming. Why, sir. thank you, thank you. It's been a while since this podcast thing happened. Yes, sir. Jesus ain't the only one that resurrected today. I see y'all, y'all back. <laughs> hey, happy Easter. <laughs> yeah, happy, Easter. happy Easter. Yeah. Happy Easter. So, um, yeah, you guys already know the plan. For those that are longtime listeners and first-time listeners, we gather every Sunday to talk about what's going on in the world, especially in hip-hop. So, um, of course, Tech always has the questions. All right, well, we're, we're doing do something it. new today. Yeah, we're going to do it different. Yeah, we're going to yeah, do different. Yeah, sir. Rex, I've got the question today. So we're talking about COVID-19. Yes, it's sir. only right. You feel me? Everybody got their mask on? Yeah. Yes. Be socially responsible out here. We can't be talking about it without doing what we need to do. You feel me? Exactly. Follow CDC rules. Thing, though, man. You're going to get used to it. Your lungs are just. All right, so <laughs> first question on the board is, how did the COVID-19 virus affect your daily life? Uh, oh. For me, I have a central job, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. You know, it, with us, it just, you know, you got to be more cautious, you know? Right. You know, definitely uh, six feet apart, mm-hmm. you know? Not, so y'all wearing, y'all wearing gloves and masks and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. I am. I'm wearing gloves and masks. Is it required or not? Uh, it's required you wear the mask. You okay. You got to wear the mask. got to wear the mask. Okay. Yeah. That thing changed everything. <laughs> like, yeah, sir. I, my building got shut down while I worked in Philly, mm. and Philly just completely shut down. It's like right. the whole just walking out the building, seeing nobody on the street, crazy, absolutely crazy. So it changed everything. I ended up coming out here with family uh, yeah. in Cali. So it literally, I don't know. I never seen nothing like this. Yeah, like, man. I think it's definitely a scare it. for people, man. I think. You know, people are starting to be a lot of uh, fearful of this, you know, especially it's about up time. here in the death tolls and, yeah. and what's going on, yeah. you know, and I heard United States has the most right now, mm-hmm. you know, so, you know, people have to definitely be cautious. Yeah. And aware of this. Um, yes, sir. I have a question for y'all. Um, at what point, like, at what point and what was it that kind of, like, put you into shock, like? Like damn, this is serious. It's serious. I think it's the deaths. The deaths. I would say, honestly, when they shut down my building, that was like. That's serious. when it got serious. That's huh? when it got serious because like we've been hearing it, and we heard a couple cases in the city. Then when they said, "All right, everybody need to get out." Yeah. Get out! I was like, "Oh, this is this is for real." Because you know they ain't shutting that down unless they absolutely exactly. have to. You know, business, exactly. They, it's big business. They yeah. gotta make their money. So. Man, I would say I would say the same thing when they shut down my school. Um, I'm in medical school right now, but what really like, kind of threw me was they showed on the news truck fulls of bodies, like people, yeah. dead people dying from this disease, and that's just crazy to think about people's family members, people you love is just stacked on top of each other in yeah. this truck. That's wild to me. So they, that's when it really hit. They say it affects more of like the elder, elderly, and the people with weak immune systems. Is, y'all feel like that's true or? Do you think um, uh, pretty much it could be anybody? So I can say this. Uh, if you have a compromised immune system, it's definitely going to affect you more. Um, but what we're seeing is that for some reason, they don't know why African-Americans are being mostly affected yeah. by it. So that's young. That's old. Um, so, yeah, I think it's definitely true. If you're immunocompromised, you got to watch out for it. But that's really any disease. That's mm-hmm. the flu. That's any kind of virus you're dealing with, any bacterial infection. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's really affecting elderly people, but then also us African-Americans. So we got to. Be safe, man. Be cautious for sure. Definitely. And just to kind of like, um, 
like you said, the myth of it, it, it doesn't, it only affects the elderly. Uh, there was a nurse that was on, I think, Instagram. She was telling the story how a teenager you know, from New York had came in and her lungs were completely gone. Wow. Cause wow. Like, and then, like, she came in sick and she died the next day. Mm. And she was, like, 18. Wow. 18 years old. Imagine that. That's crazy. Man. Yeah. That's crazy. That's unusual. Mm-hmm. And people need to know, too, if you're smoking. A lot of people like to still smoke weed. They like to feel yeah. good, but that's not good for your lungs either. Mm. You're dealing with a, an infection that, that's taking over your lungs, basically. And you want to put, You want to put more smoke so, into your lungs? So weed ain't good for you? Not in this case. Weed is good for you in a lot of ways. It can fight against cancer. It can do a lot of crazy, cool stuff medically um, that's kind of not even been tapped into. But in the case of a, a viral infection that's taking over your lungs, you just got to do the equation. A plus B got to equal C, and you don't want smoke in your lungs while your Talk lungs is being taken over by a virus. You Talk yeah, exactly. I know a Let's lot of people that. need to hear that. I got uh, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. No weed. Okay. So we can jump right into this next one. How long do y'all think this is going to go on for? If you had to guess, how long do you think we're going to deal with this pandemic? Ooh, how long do I think it's going to go on? Or how long should it really be going on? You can give me a little bit of both. <laughs> 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 Tell me what's up. <laughs> Let me see. I think that people's bottom line is starting to hurt. I think it started hurting last month. So that means money is over everything, I personally think. Yes, sir. So, I mean, I'm surprised it went on this long, to be honest with you. But right. with, with a public outrage, you can't go back too soon. But I'm guessing, I'm going to say probably like another month. I think in Jeez. We at, April? We in April right now. I would say like mid-May. They're going to be trying to get everything back open. I don't know. It seems like the way things is going, though, it seems like it's going to be longer than that for some reason to me. I Let's hope like, not, you know, man. Yeah. I feel I don't know. Just the way everything is going and how it's transpiring right now, it's kind of like it seems like this is going to go on for a while. I don't know. Maybe that's yeah. just me. It just feels like that. Right. Right. You know? So if you had to put like a month on it, you thinking what, August, September? I'm hoping it don't go into, into summer, man. We're trying months. to – a few yeah, months? August, I'm thinking a few. I, I hope not, you know what I mean? But, you know, the way the way it's feeling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just that vibe I'm getting, you know what I mean? It yeah. seems like it's going to stretch out. You well, know? My birthday, August 30th, and I'm not going to be in the house. <laughs> <laughs> he said, virus or not, I'm not going to be in the house. I'm weak. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. All these places that's not open and all of that. And then if they just, just say a month from now, why not? Why they going to be? They're not going to be skeptical on putting people back out there in a month from now. Facts. And there's a chance that it might come back. Or Facts. Or, well, you know what I mean. It's proven that it's going to come back regardless. <laughs> there's really, to be quite honest with you, uh, there's really the only. I was watching the news. The only thing they really keep saying, the only thing that's clear, is social distancing. Yeah. They don't have nothing else. They're trying to make people, you know, uh, pretty much wear masks, social distancing, all that. Until they can come up, whatever you know, the vaccine, whatever they can. Mm -hmm. So, and that's like eighteen months away. So, Crazy. it's gonna pretty much, it's gonna trickle down. It's gonna be summertime. It's gonna die down a little bit because you know people do expect the heat and all that stuff. And then it doesn't help that since everything's become serious, the weather's been really bad. Right. So, <laughs> right. So the mentality is even eerie. You're like, oh my damn, it's been raining ever since yeah. they've been talking about this. So. Right. Once the sun come out and it's a hundred and some degrees, everybody's going to forget about it. But when winter comes back around, it's going to come back because mm -hmm. they don't have nothing for it. Yeah. And people still going to be carrying it. Yeah. Let's hope they get that vaccine sooner than later, man. Yes. We're going to see how that works. Let's jump right into this next question. So it's kind of a, a funny question. In what ways do you think this is going to affect the world worldwide? Oh, depression. Yeah. Okay. Businesses. Depression, recession. Ooh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because um, a lot of things, just expanding the jobs, like where, where you're not working and there's jo a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs going to probably end up closing down. Yeah. You know, because they, you know, you got to be able to maintain it like that. So, especially like the mom and pop spots and stuff like that. You know yes, sir. Saying? And they be having so, the best food, too. Y'all yeah. know Rosa Maria's yeah. and San Bernardino? Shouts out to Rosa yeah, Maria's, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. bad. I hope they don't shut down. Uh, I need me another one. Down. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, as I go out, there's nothing open but essential jobs, like right. Walmart, State of Brothers, and places like that. But you can't go 
anywhere else. I was trying to just go get my car washed the other day. <laughs> they said, wash your own car. You know <laughs> go back right. home. We ain't so doing it. Just, you know, yeah. It's just crazy, man. I have, I have a question. Have you guys ever seen Demolition Man? Yeah. But, I've uh, never seen that. Well, man. Wesley Snipes. Wesley and, uh, Snipes, yeah. All right, so in the movie, um, I guess like it was like a major earthquake that affected the world in 1996, and pretty much like people died, a lot of businesses, all that, right? Mm -hmm. And the only thing that survived was Taco Bell. <laughs> so in the future, like real shit, like in the future, Taco Bell is like the essential, right? Mm -hmm. So everything is Taco Bell. Like fine dining is Taco Bell. Now, of course, that's a marketing scheme for the movie and Taco Bell partnership, whatever, right? But is like this, like you gotta think, Walmart is the only company, uh, you know, and Amazon, where you can buy on their website multiple things. Mm -hmm. You can buy Jordans on website, on um, Walmart. So I'm saying that what's gonna end up happening, companies like, like they say, like Macy's and all that type of stuff, those are gonna soon dwindle. Like all it's gonna be is Walmart. Mm -hmm. All it is gonna be is a Target. So Target and Walmart, and whatever company or just like that is going to be the only thing that we can go to. So you're saying those jobs, those other jobs won't bounce back at all? No, well, because you got you to gotta think, right? So what this going on is going to change how people communicate with each other, how people go out. Because, you know, there's going to people still be in fear of it, even if it does pass and all that. That's a fact, yeah. So I, I remember I was watching this thing. They said that uh, malls are gonna be extinct. Malls is like, right now you can pretty much say there's a mall damn near in every major city. Right. They said it was gonna be to a point to where malls gonna be 40, 50 miles apart from each other, and this is before this happened. Wow. Like, you gotta think, nobody's gonna go to a mall. A mall is not gonna be the same anymore. Right, that's like the worst spot to go. Yeah, that's like the worst, the worst spot worst to go. Yeah. So people are gonna be more, it's gonna be more delivery jobs, it's gonna be more jobs like Amazon, you know, stuff like that. That stuff is gonna be And that's, that's gonna change the is. whole world completely, yeah. man. Online just to shopping. knowing you can't even really go out and you know do the things you normally do and mm -hmm. you know go out different places and shop around right. all that's pretty much out yeah. you know what I'm saying right. that's, that's crazy. Right. I have a question so you know um, what are some of the things that you've heard throughout this process that you kind of like mm -hmm. kind of just you know just kicked off the table like you don't believe it um, that's a good question, man. Let me see. I think I don't believe the fact that they don't know where it came from. Right. Mm -hmm. Just in my in my heart and my mind, I feel like I I know where it came from, mm -hmm. and that's uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, man. That's Kim Jong Un from North Korea. I feel like he flew over these areas, mm -hmm. like he said he would last year in December. He said he was coming to deliver people a Christmas gift. That's what he said, mm -hmm. and I think he flew over and dropped some aerosols on different countries. And now it's finally starting to settle in, and this is what we're getting. So I don't believe at all that Donald Trump didn't know that this was going to happen. Right. This might be a conspiracy, but I don't believe that at all. What y'all think about that? Uh, I don't, I'm not really so political, you know, in that sense, but I could tell you that uh, I feel like I feel like he has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. You know, because it just his whole aura and his whole vibe, it just seemed – Real sketchy, man. <laughs> he's too you lax for it. Like, like he's, 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 he's like he don't even really care. Like, right. You know what I'm so, you know, I just I don't know what's up with that guy, man. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't. And I can speak for the people too. I'm heavy on social media, and a lot of people were sketched out about the different celebrities that was coming out saying that they had coronavirus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to me, I don't want to you know discredit nobody, um, or said that they lying but it did seem a little sketch like every celebrity came out saying they had it and that's bad if that if they trolling yeah and, yeah and you know that's 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 bad that's what it come down to man. but you know that's society nowadays though they'll do anything for a troll right you, you talking about deaths and you deaths. talking about a yeah. serious issue that you trolling with you know what i'm saying that's that's a little different man people, people do it man you see them people setting each other on fire why being on quarantine <laughs> like or old boy licking the toilet seat. Yeah. Didn't oh, somebody licking the toilet seat? Like there, there was a lady that did it on an airport airplane. I'm sorry. That's out of line. Like why yeah. would you? Why for clout? <laughs> like why are you doing that? Like for what reason? Like I think Idris Elba when he the first one to come out. Who, who he was one of yeah. He was one of the first. Uh, I think Tom Hanks was like the first like. Oh, the first one. That's big big yeah. like white Hollywood celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> I know Donovan Mitchell was one of the first ones I heard of. Yeah. I was like whoa. 
Then yeah, I was hearing crazy. different people. This is like everybody was coming out saying it. I think right. Kevin, Kevin Durant, I think. Yeah. yeah. yeah 21 Savage. Oh, fuck that. I don't think 21 <laughs> Savage. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I dropped. <laughs> wait. But yeah, that's what a lot of people were saying, man. It just seemed a little sketch that, you know, all these different celebrities was coming out saying yeah. they had it. So, I mean, you never know. You really never know. I do have an impromptu question for y'all, though. Yeah. So these stimulus checks are set to drop on Wednesday. Um, it's supposed to be $1,200 for anybody who's not a dependent. And then if you have kids, what is it, $500? Yeah, 500 kid? per kid. How y'all feeling about that? Y'all think you're going to have to repay that? Or y'all going to plan on spending man, that? Or how we. Man, I hope not. I actually, I mean, I think anything's good that they, you know, giving us at this point. You know, you can't complain of $1,200. That's. Twelve hundred more you got in your. You're not gonna refuse it. I'm saying, no, I'm not gonna refuse it. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think that's a a good thing. But what else is there? You know, yeah, like that's cool and everything. But you know, is it stuff that y'all hiding from us, or you know, that that's kind of the questions I will have. You know, what I'm saying, like, Mm -hmm. are they telling us the truth? You know, what I'm saying, and and what's going on? Like, I don't know, you know, how to really take that. Let's be honest. That check hits your account, you don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to oh. open the stores my damn self. Nigga. <laughs> it is going to be very helpful, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That's going to be rent, and that's it. Rent, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, it's going to help, but. Uh, but it'll get your rent, though. It's one month of rent. <laughs> but that's the other thing, too. It's only one month. So, like, are we going, what are they going to do the next month if this virus is still carrying out? Like Exactly. So it's kind of like so much uncertainty right now. We don't really know what's going on. Yeah. But, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to just leave yeah, it. And I'll is that it. something we got to understand? Is that something that 1200 just something they doing for us to, to kind of keep us quiet, to keep us like, all right. Keep so, you at bay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? While we stirring up some other shit going on. You know what I'm saying? And you never know. They so, better be stirring up another check. So. <laughs> <laughs> why, why can't black people be satisfied? <laughs> 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 I can't just take y'all 12 and be happy. <laughs> and I need 12 every two weeks. That's what I'm saying. Y'all lucky y'all get this. <laughs> y'all can never be satisfied, man. That's the problem, man. That's the problem. Let's jump into one of these other questions, man. So, um, what do you guys think people can do to not be affected by, by the virus? So, what have you guys heard? Um, what kind of steps have y'all been taking, y'all family been taking to kind of prevent the virus from infecting y'all? I would just say pr- practicing. You know, with the mask, of course, social distancing, staying in the house, you know, as much as you can. Don't go out doing too much, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Maybe if you go to the store, just go to the store, come back home, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just do what you got to mm-hmm. do, but just try not to be out, you know. Not I'm doing no extra stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> Wash your hands. Yeah. I think you yeah. hit it on. Uh, Being sanitized. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would say if I had to pick one thing. Besides going out, social distancing, wash your hands, like, <laughs> like yes, do sir. it. Throw some uh, soap on there. Sanitizer sanitize if you got it. Man, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that's so important. That's a fact. Right. That's clean a fact. your house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the perfect time to clean your house. You yeah, ain't doing nothing else. Pine saw it up. You know what I'm saying? Is there one thing that y'all miss, like, that y'all didn't think y'all would miss from being in the house all the time? I ain't going to lie. I miss Chick-fil-A. <laughs> oh, yeah. And going in there talk whenever heavy. I want, <laughs> you know, talk, talk like heavy. chilling in there because the employees are just so nice, you feel me? So I really miss my restaurant quite a bit. <laughs> um, I miss my people too, my friends. I think you kind of take advantage of the people who you see on a day to day basis mm-hmm. until you can't see them on a day to day basis. Mm-hmm. Even people like you don't really think you're gonna miss, like your professors or a dean or something like that. You're like, man, I kind of miss mm-hmm. old boy, old girl. So it's kind of it's crazy. Um, That's outside of that, yeah. What you think? I'm just going to the gas station, man. <laughs> Without a mask on? I can still go to the gas station. I haven't been to the gas station in a month. For real? Yeah. I ain't got nowhere to go. So I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak. Yeah. I talk about it. Like, it's the little things you never thought you would miss. Like, yeah. that's a fact. Yeah. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> and they, and they, they pretty low, right? The prices are low. Oh, yeah. Prices are low, man. It's it's low low right now. Fill up the little gas tanks. Mm-hmm. Stack up. Not too low, Uh... There's a couple of things I miss. Um, uh, well, uh, to kind of touch on it, like elderly and stuff like that. My mom, she uh, suffers from pretty much everything that kind of will affect it, diabetes and and stuff like that. So I kind of miss being able to like kind of be around her like how I used to. So now I go to her house, I pretty much stay downstairs. Mm-hmm. I haven't hugged my mom in a month. 
And I'd be at her house, I see her. But she'd be like, baby, come give me a hug. I can't even, I don't want to give her a hug. Man, so, like, stuff like that. But, you know, everything else is whatever. Like, yeah. stores is stores, all that type of shit. You buy it. Like, you got to really think about it. We buy shit and we be over as soon as we buy it, so. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. um, what are some of the things that you guys want to get accomplished while being on this quarantine? Good question. Talk heavy. Well, I think it's definitely uh, in my in my favor is is getting me closer to my family. You know, as far as like right. you know, being involved. You know, we live such busy lives that this kind of slowed everything down. You know, as far as you know, it's making you spend more time with your family. You know what I'm saying, and and you know having that connection. You know, and even thinking more positive because all of the negative stuff you hearing about it. You know, you're trying to do things that's going to take you away from that. You know, you're hearing all the deaths and, and stuff going on. You know, it's better to try to think as positive you can, joke, laugh, you know, and just, you know, be cool with one another. You know what I'm saying? And, mm-hmm. you know, just have more of a good vibe, yeah. you know, instead of a, like a bad negative vibe because of all the stuff we hear. Right. Facts. Uh, I would say one thing I want to accomplish, I think throughout this whole year up until quarantine started, I've been – I moved to Philly, so I've been running up, mm-hmm. and, up and down every single day. There's always something going on. As soon as the quarantine hit, it kind of gave me a chance to sit back and just be like, okay, let me tap into my creative side. Mm-hmm. So what I do on the side is I like to, I'm a screenwriter. I like to write scripts, direct music videos, stuff like that. So I haven't been able to do none of that up until this mm-hmm. whole year, up until quarantine started. So um, just my whole goal is to map out at least two projects and at least shoot one, one movie, direct one. Uh, and nobody's doing music videos, but with the uh, with the movie, I'm working on a script. If I can get a script done, mm-hmm. this was a win for me. Facts. You know, slow it. down, like tap into your side hustle, mm-hmm. what you what you passionate about, and I've been able to do that thankfully. That's dope. That's yes, sir. I feel that. For me, any little skill I can pick up, man. We was in the uh, backyard. I learned how to start a fire. <laughs> with some flint <laughs> and magnesium like I was, you know, a survivor or something. Like, my boy becoming a Boy like, Scout. Right. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Scout, you feel me? And it's so, always good to know just in case. Dude. Facts, yeah. So just like little stuff like that, any little thing that I kind of seen along the way that I thought was interesting, try to pick that up. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning how to make beats. Shouts out to Tick, you feel me? Oh, yeah. Just taught me how to make some beats. So oh, any any little thing I can pick up, man, I want to try to pick up. If you're, not, if you're coming out of this quarantine without a skill or something extra, yeah. Um, I think I think it's a, it's a problem with that. So, yeah, what true. you think, LP? Nah, that's uh, that's real shit. Um, like you said, skills. You know, this is the time for you really discover what you're good at. Mm-hmm. Take that time. Um, like you say, take said well, family. You know, um, if you have kids, it's like you know, being with your kids, showing them. You know, like for instance, my son helping them. You know. I, shit, I was telling my wife, I want to do this nigga be like a, uh, like reading at a tenth grade level and shit. You only know, five, so you know you got that time to sit <laughs> down, <laughs> to have that time to sit down and re- you know read books with him and stuff like that. So that's what I'm trying to focus on right now. Yes, yeah, sir. I feel that man. Good stuff. Let's keep it pushing right along to this next question. So, do y'all think that this was a curse or a blessing? If you thought it was a curse. Or a blessing, tell us why. Um, it depends how you look at it. Uh, I, you know, I had said this a little earlier before I was talking to some people. I was like, to be quite honest, not to say with you guys, because you guys look like you're very like, strong-minded individuals and you guys are not lazy. But the generation that's coming up, they don't have no, they don't understand no hard time. They don't understand nothing. And I think these one of these things that kind of put them in that position to where they need to focus more and be on top of things and stuff like that. So I think that would be a blessing because, you know, like the, my daughter, she's 16. Like she doesn't – like everything to her wasn't serious and shit like that. Now when I come in the house, she'd be like, oh, make sure you take off your shoes. Or make sure you like <laughs> – you know, like, like shit like that. Like yeah. it's sad to say that people are dying and stuff like that, but – these kids nowadays, they don't know, like, man, it's hard, like, talking to some of these 19, 18-year-olds about, you know, working and stuff like that. They be, like, they be over that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I think it's teaching people the value, the situations that they have, and not be trying to always down-talk what they've been given. 
Like, like things like that, I guess. Man, just teach you how to be grateful, more grateful, you know what I'm saying? Talk everything. With everything you got, even life, you know. Especially seeing all these deaths and stuff going on, you just grateful to even be living, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And, you know, and it's a time right now to even get closer to God, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And, and big yeah. facts. You know, understand that, you know, you can't really stress, you know, certain things. You're going to stress over it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't have no control over the situation, you just give it to God. That's a fact, you know what yeah. I'm you just give it to him and put it in his hands. You know, like, I hear a lot of theories and a lot of stuff going on with they're going to be bringing all this in and all that and, and trying to control us and all of these different things. Mm -hmm. It's good to have the knowledge on that type of thing, but what is the solution? If there's no solution, what are we going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, to God, man, there's nothing you can do about it. I like that, you know man. What I'm saying? I like that. Word. Man, I say it's both. I agree with both of y'all, uh, OP and Tick. Uh, it's both a gift and a curse. It's a, definitely a curse. You know, if you're talking about you can't hug his mom and grandma if you're in the house, that's a curse. That's that's always. that's. And you got people losing their jobs, getting laid off, mm -hmm. a curse. But I think um, it's a gift, too, because then you can open up your eyes and see him like, okay. Did I, did I always hug this person like I should have? Yeah. Did I, should've asked? Did, I mm. did I take that for granted? Yeah. Did I put my job over my family, over God? Because you see how replaceable you are. You yeah. Speak facts. You, you're not in your job no more. So uh, the gift of it is um, is being aware. If you take yeah. this, this thing serious, like putting God first, um, being aware of what's, what you really got, and I think that's the gift of it. If you can actually open up your eyes to it, mm. not just look at everything um, – negative part aspect of it yeah that's a real spill man real shit yeah i agree with all of y'all i agree with everything y'all said man it's definitely a curse in that all these deaths is happening yeah that's that's never good um but a blessing in that we get a chance to get closer to god we get a chance to get closer to our family mm -hmm. um this is the longest i think we've been home since it's been a minute <laughs> like this is the longest we've been home for a while and it's good to just have, sit down and have conversations with your parents stuff you can talk about you never used to talk about really so yeah um definitely a blessing and a curse man for sure yeah. um all right we're gonna do a little pop quiz man what's the symptoms of coronavirus uh stuff that y'all see and y'all like oh he might got the rony so let me <laughs> let me take a couple steps back what's the symptoms y'all think of coronavirus uh, I, I haven't heard somebody say bless you in a good two months. <laughs> what is bless you? Nobody <laughs> said they just look at you like what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I right. heard of bless you up forever. I believe the uh, I believe one of the, the symptoms for uh, coronavirus is like shortness of breath. I heard facts. You know, um, I don't know too much about it, but uh, yeah, I know that's one. Uh, shortness of breath. If you have the flu or something, you know, you got colds or whatever. But I don't. I don't know. I, I heard people with coronavirus just seem like they normal. They feel normal and all that. So, right. You know, I don't like Idris Elba. I believe he said he had the coronavirus, but he said he didn't feel any symptoms or anything. Mm. So, mm -hmm. you know, but you know, that's I know that's one of them. The shortness of breath. Facts. Okay. LP. Well, of course, like you said, it affects the respiratory. So, like, yeah, like I guess. Well, I don't know. It's. Right now, you don't really know what to believe. All you just hear people say that they just have it. Like you said, some people that have showed clear signs, like, okay, he has it. And other people are like, yo, this motherfucker, <laughs> he could have been standing right next to me with no problems, no issues. So, right. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I thought the dry cough was one of them, though. Or dry cough is one of them. Dry cough. Dry cough, cough fever. You so basically. Doctor, you need to educate. <laughs> what's, a, what's a dry cough, though? Dry yeah. cough is basically a cough with no mucus. Have you ever coughed and you had, like, a little something come up in your throat and it's, yeah. it seemed wet? Yeah. Or you can feel something come up? That's a wet cough. A dry <laughs> cough is, <laughs> a dry oh. cough is when, you just, uh, is when <laughs> you just coughing and it kind of hurt to oh. cough. Oh. Like, you can feel it in your chest to cough. Mm. Um, so, yeah, y'all had it right. Dry cough, fever is one of them. Um, fever, let's see. Um, what happens really, and the reason why people is catching pneumonia, is because the virus is infecting your lungs, like we like we talked about. Um, but it's a component of your lungs called the alveoli, right? And so in the alveoli, it's like tiny little sacs where gas exchange is happening. So you breathing in O2, and then you getting rid of your CO2 when you breathe out. Okay. Um, and so the virus is infecting those areas of your lungs. 
specifically uh, certain cells in your lungs that make uh, a liquid. Um, and so that once that liquid is gone, you can't really breathe as effectively as you need to. Mm. So you breathing in, you might breathe in a bunch of O2, but because of that liquid depletion in the alveoli, you can't transfer that gas. Mm. And so now you're having to breathe a lot. you like, because <sighs> you're trying to compensate for the O2 mm. that's getting lost. So that's the reason why people have shortness of breath is, is going down to really the small areas of the lungs, the alveoli, and the fact that they just can't do gas exchange the way they usually can in a healthy person. Mm. Um, and so that's why you see people on these ventilators. They need a whole bunch of ventilators to keep people alive and to breathe for them because they just don't have the respiratory capacity to do it. Um, how, how do black people feel about the doctors? I don't think I've ever been to the doctor before besides anything football related. Facts. For physical, right? physical, but when you're talking about fevers, getting checked and all that stuff, I don't think I've ever been I think a lot of people is just kind of fearful to, of what they can say to you. You know what I'm saying? They Facts. don't want to, you know, feel, oh, man, they might, I might walk out and they say something, you know. But like Jay-Z said, uh, what you reveal, what is it, what you reveal you heal or something like that? Mm -hmm. Once you reveal it and notice you have something, then you can get treated for it and, and it can get better, you know. But that's right. the first step is revealing it, yeah. you know, seeing if you have a problem or something, you know, because then after that you could take the necessary steps to cure it, you know what I'm saying, or right. to try to make it better for you, you know what I'm saying. But, uh, you know, with, I think in general people just kind of nervous on what they're going to hear back from the doctors mm. once they go, that's and that's, I think that's why people kind of stay away. That's, that's true. Oh, oh well, you know, I think that it's well in black culture, it's like a, a generational thing too, because you know, like let's be honest, once upon a time, like well, they still probably do. Uh, black people, they were when they would go to the doctor, they will do stuff to them. They would, uh, you know, do tests on them and all kinds of stuff. So speak facts. Like you know, generations go by. You know, like. Your great great grandparents and stuff, all like with the Tuskegee, um, what was it Tuskegee experiment? Yeah, mm -hmm. that type of stuff scared black people. Yeah, syphilis, yeah. all that type of shit. So you know, it's a generational thing too. Like, keep people kind of put that in their kids' mind. Like, oh, you don't need to go to the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, sir. somebody told me that. Uh, I guess taking the vaccine. I want to know how you felt about it too, because mm -hmm. I've been, I, I've heard a few people tell me like. They'll go get the flu shot. Right. No, I don't never get the flu shot. They get the flu. They get the flu shot. <laughs> then got the flu the, the next day. Or, well, because isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Inject like, you with the flu. And, yeah. And it's kind of exactly. like, yeah. do you? Is it's like, what are they doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I want to get your opinion on it. On. Like, so uh, I feel it. So you think LP, like that's some fishy stuff. It's, or, it's not. Or, I don't think like, it's fishy personally. Oh. LP is right. So they're injecting you with the uh, with the actual vaccine, but it's a. Uh, a less active version of, of the vaccine. Mm -hmm. So basically it gives your immune system the opportunity to create like antibodies against the mm -hmm. vaccine mm -hmm. um, so that it creates that muscle memory. So if you get infected with say the flu again, now you quicker with your healing. Now the antibodies pop out your cells, they they get right around that, uh, that virus or that bacteria and then boom, it's taken so, out. So it's normal to get the flu right after? It's normal to get it, um, but you should never get symptoms as fully as you would if you was getting just like regularly infected with the oh, virus okay. right mm -hmm. because it's going to be a virus with with less active properties basically mm -hmm. um and so that's why you get the flu after you get uh like a flu shot or something like that i do think it's important though I, this is like a controversy too and y'all can weigh in y'all have kids um people say they don't like to get their kids vaccine <laughs> for reasons like that they kind of sketched out about it um but i do think it's important um, if one kid isn't vaccine, that can put a lot of other kids at risk. So how do y'all feel about vaccines in, in y'all kids? And, um, yeah, what y'all thinking about that? Well, we definitely got the kids a flu shot because I'd just rather uh, be cautious as possible. I don't want them to get, you know, you know, anything to happen. So I do take the necessary steps to get them checked out. And if they need a flu shot, they get a flu shot. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, just to keep them on that on the health side, but it is a lot of things that I be wanting to know. That's why I asked you about it. Like, how do you feel about that? Because, you know, it is something that I, it was on my mind that was like, is, are they doing something? Why is it they get the flu right after? You know, yeah. so that was a, you know, a valid question. question. Very valid. What you think, LP, about that? Um, I typically don't do it. I don't do it for myself or or my kids. Okay. Like in the reason, reason though. 
The reason why is because I just like like I said, growing up, I never never got them, and I was cool, and I never gave it to them. Mm-hmm. I think it's just th- things that you do. You do build your immune system. Like I do get you know do the things as far as like giving their other shots as far as you know so they can go to school and stuff like that. Right. But nah, I don't never get the flu vaccine. Never. Okay. That's fair enough. I think it's it's kind of it's your prerogative. It's like what you what you want to do. Um, but I do think when it comes to like kids, they in schools, they around a whole bunch of other kids. I think it's just safer um, for not only them but other people to uh, to have that vaccine just in case you get infected with a virus or a bacteria. You kind of have that to to fight for yourself, and then also to not pass that along to somebody else. So. You know, on side note, I got I gave everybody chicken pox. The whole I class? Bo- no, <laughs> I gave you chicken pox. I'm weak. I gave I gave I gave so many people chicken pox in the household when we were younger. So I'm weak. Yeah, I, yeah, I passed it all on to everybody. Know. See, and if you had the vaccine like me, yeah, that's, that's you escape scot free. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But yeah, it's your prerogative, man. It, it really just kind of depends on what you what you want to do for you and your kids. Um, all right, let's let's dive right into this very last question. Um, do y'all think that things are going to go back to normal eventually? And if so, how long do y'all think that's going to take? Talk heavy. I don't think it's ever going to be the same. Never. Okay. And the reason why I say it is just, it's just people's mindset is different now. This is something that has never happened. Never happened. Like, I could see, like, anybody that's been through anything, like, with the Spanish flu, all that type of shit, they're not even on this earth. They're gone. Anybody that's going through this, this is the first time they've ever been through anything like this. So how can how can it go back to normal? People, right. the way people interact with each other, the way business is going to be grand, the way, like, a lot of this shit, it's, it's going to, I'm not going to say it's going to be how it is now, but it's going to be a lot of companies gone, a lot of things that we, you know, that we used to do on a day-to-day basis. It's going to be different. Mm-hmm. So I think like have, like like you like what's that movie? Uh, Back to the Future. It's gonna be like an alternate like world. Mm-hmm. That shit is gonna be it's gonna be crazy. The, to, I'm not to say that it, in a negative way. It, there's gonna be some positive things that's gonna come from this, but it's just right now our minds are still in shock. The simple fact that we can't even go and sit inside McDonald's and eat a fucking burger. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Like it's gonna be like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know how, but it's gonna be. How many people can sit inside of a restaurant? Yeah. And it used to be for fire, emer- you know, fire uh, purposes. Now it's going to be for virus purposes. Everything's going to be based around viruses. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, I heard uh, China open uh, the public back up. So I guess, I guess for people to go out and do what they do. So, you know, maybe I'm um, hopefully – you know, it'll be the same for us once everything seems like it's back to normal, then things are open back up. But I like LP said, I don't think it's gonna be the same. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's gonna be things, you know, going the same way it was before this happened. You know what right. I'm saying? I think it's definitely gonna be a change. You know, I don't know for the good or for the worse, you know, but I do feel like it's gonna be a, a change, you know what I'm saying? So right. facts. Um, I feel like People lost so many family members during this this tragedy. So mm-hmm. when you say normal, it ain't gonna be normal for the family that lost their mom, dad, sister, mm-hmm. grandma, grandpa. It ain't gonna be normal. So mm-hmm. for no to the answer to that question, I don't think things gonna go back to normal. I think uh, even for us, we we I know for myself, I probably didn't wash my hands as much as I should have. I'm gonna change that, sanitize myself. Uh, all different types of stuff is gonna be changing in my life personally, but. Um, no, I don't think it's going back to normal. I don't think it should. I think something mm-hmm. needed to change. I think some things will change for the better. Um, it's a tragedy, but what would you say for the better is? Oh, uh, we're gonna be more uh, mindful, aware, uh, washing our hands, cleaning your house, like you mentioned. Um, yeah. Hopefully, cleaning your house. But yeah, stuff like <laughs> that. Just taking taking better care and like. Uh, you know, loving on your parents, your grandparents, because you don't know when something like this can happen. Exactly. So, I think we're gonna be just, more mindful. Just mindful. Yeah, I think we're gonna just be more mindful. mindful of that. So normal. I don't. I don't think we'll be normal again. I don't think we should be. I think we should be better, not not normal. After this. That's a fact. I agree, man. I'm gonna call it audible though, and I think 
I think people are ready and willing to go back to living their normal lives. Um, like Derek said, I think it's definitely not going to be normal because people did lose a lot um, during this time. But I think that once the administration, whoever lifts this ban and they say you don't have to do social distancing, you can go out, people are going to be back out. <laughs> that's what I think. People are going to be back out. Oh, yeah. That's um, if, that's, if that's the lifestyle people you live, are now. So, you know, right. You, you know, right. You still it, see people. They say everybody stay in the house. You still see the freeway. Right. You know, cars, <laughs> everything going on, you know. Yeah. Like when I first, actually, when I first heard it, uh, it was a little bit more edgy, like, you know, because when I'm hearing it, I'm like, when they told me at my job, you know, about this whole thing, they made mm -hmm. it seem like you you can't even drive anywhere without getting pulled over by the police mm -hmm. they're gonna be checking you and all that so it make you think about it like dang is that serious you know what i'm saying okay. so you know uh with that it's just it's better just be aware of your surroundings you know be be aware you know keep your social distancing you know wear your mask right. gloves if you have them you know and uh like you said wash your hands and stay wash in the house up. wash up um, man that's a fact yeah, I think I think it's going to a, to a degree, to an extent, it's going to go back to normal. Um, might take a little bit. Whenever the bands do lift, though, I, I do think people is kind of itching to get out. So I can see them kind of going back to what they was yeah, doing before. People bored at the house. <laughs> yeah, they bored. <laughs> they bored for sure. And hopefully, like y'all was saying, one thing that does come of this and people do get better with washing your hands and, and taking care of yourself, sanitizing your house and sanitizing your, your cars and all Very of the stuff important. that you... People say they're going to conquer the world once the ban is lifted. Let's see if that's all talk. He's lying like a living room rug. <laughs> <laughs> you said like a living room rug. Nah, that's a fact. Um, but we're going to see, man. We're really going to see how things work out. Um, I'm excited. Uh, just a message to all of our viewers out there. Wash your hands. Wash your body. Yeah. Wash everything around you. Make sure you're safe and sanitized. Make sure you're using your antibacterials, all of that good stuff. Um, you know what I'm saying? Eat healthy. Do not smoke weed. I don't care what people are telling you. You bored in your house. Stay off of the weed. It is not good for you in the sun. <laughs> Snoop, I'm surprised he ain't infected with the virus. And oh, that's crazy. Cause he smoke every single day. And that's yeah. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to knock some wood. But yeah, make sure you're just taking care of yourself, man. Wash up. Um, stay healthy. Stay active. Take this time to really. Pick up on some traits, some cool little uh, characteristics, some cool little things you can learn, um, and, and love on your family, love on, love on God, love on this this time that we have to kind of slow it down. We do live just a very active the, life, so and very important. Just look at the positive on everything, you know, in life in general, people, things, you know what I'm saying. Is somebody always quick to say something negative about somebody else, Facts. you know what I'm saying, or. or say something negative that they don't like it's always something that somebody don't like instead of what they do like you know what i'm saying i hate this job mm -hmm. you know i gotta work all these hours at least you have a job you know Ooh, what i'm saying facts. it's a lot of people that that want a job you like you you know what i'm saying and people right. take a lot of things for granted you know what i'm saying and that they sh they shouldn't you know what i'm saying like i hear at my job a lot you know like Oh, the hours we got, man. We working too many hours, you know. There's a lot of people who ain't got no job right now. They're getting laid off, you know. Right. You working, you know. They gave right. us a 50 cent extra raise, you know what I'm saying? 50 mm -hmm. cent extra raise in the time of this crisis right now. There's people still complaining. Like, you know, why they only give us 50 cent, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like, like, you yeah. couldn't have got nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, it's better to, to not take things for granted, be humble. You know what I'm saying? And cherish what you got. It's a lot of people that wish they was in your position. You know what I'm saying? So you got to kind of cherish that and, you know, do what you need to do. That's a fact, man. This is a great conversation, man. I'm glad to hear y'all perspectives. Yeah. Um, I thank y'all for coming out, man. Of course, hey, don't man. Don't forget, uh, follow my IG, divine.vision. Yeah. Um, that's on IG. Uh, when I'm on Facebook, Divine Vision. Yeah. Divine Vision on TikTok. Get me. Get at you me. You ain't playing with the plug, huh? Uh, look look out. Look <laughs> out. We got Vision. D E V I N E N E. D E V I N E dot V Z N Vision. Yeah, yeah. And just look out for you know, for what we doing over here. We uh I got my album coming out. It's called Twenty Twenty Vision. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. About okay. to about to uh let that out pretty soon. So, you know, just check out Check out that, man. Just be safe out there. 
for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you take all the uh, cautions, all the things that you need to do to stay safe. Do it, you know? So it just, it just make it a lot better for you. Yes, sir. Remember, if you need help with your dreams, it's time to wake up. <laughs> this guy. <Real> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Oh, no, funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, yeah, like you said, um, like Terrence said, God, like, like if you have, you have nowhere to turn, no, you have, you're asking all the questions, nobody's answering them. God, um, that, you know, uh, love, you know, try to be around family as much as possible with six feet um, to make sure you guys are being healthy. All that type of stuff. I don't know. I'm trying to think about what I'm saying. So, but for the most part, uh, just just you know, just be safe, stay clean, wash your hands, and do everything you can to uh, protect your family. Facts. That's you know. Facts. Let me drop a little plug too. All of that and follow me at uh, <laughs> at Doctor D Rad. That's D R. Yeah. Period. D R A D D on Instagram. And actually, we got a, a local artist out here, cousin Dwayne. Yes, sir. Man, cousin Dwayne. Hey, good to see you in the building. Good, good. 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 Sold you, my guy. Hey, so you just dropped a single, didn't you? Yeah, press conference, man. Uh, April fifteenth. Check that out. Yes, yes, platforms, yes, yes. yes. Some light. Yeah, April fifteenth press conference available on all platforms. Cousin Dwayne, you can follow me on IG. Cousin Dwayne. Uh, shoot. Y'all know what time it is, man. That's heat. We need to hear it back on this podcast, too. Yeah, we need, we need to get a song of the week. And the podcast is is, is yes. out now. We we not gonna we not gonna make y'all wait no more. He said no more games. You know what I'm saying? We 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 back out here. So check us out. All right, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your boy LP82, along with my co-host. Young Tech, aka Wordplay. And our special, special guest. Yo, Divine Vision. Make sure to follow D E V I N E dot. BZN on IG. Get at me. Big facts. And this is Rex Av, uh, aka D Rad, aka Deshaun. Hey, yo, and check out their, their, their TikTok videos, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, something like yeah, you guys yeah, see yeah, it on yeah. our Instagram, you know. Yeah, that's we that, up and coming. Yeah, they got some uh, some good skits and stuff like that. They got some good stuff coming. And you, know, you say, uh, Cousin Dwayne, of course, you got some stuff coming, uh, going, coming. He's always working. You over there working right now on that phone. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. Just uh, share, love, all that good stuff. And uh, we out. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Turning Him Up. I'm your boy, LP82, along with my co-host. Young Tech, a.k.a. Wordplay. Where we gather okay. every podcast to talk about what's going on in the world, especially in hip-hop. Turn him up. Turn him up. Can't when we talk about real in. facts turn and everybody's in. truth I mean, you gotta have that confidence to wear a song, you know, you can't lack up I got too much passion to quit, man, I gotta keep going all Get locked in Y'all ready? Turn the him up, turn the him up